cross in the Maquiladoras are young women. 95% of the people working in the Maquiladoras are young women. And they target the young women because they're most docile. They know their rights the least. Uh, they're the least able to defend themselves. 20 años. Kawato? Kensi. These are very good, this is very good material for the companies. And in fact, the companies have told us that they prefer the young women because at 16 years of age, they're at their peak of eye-hand coordination. I mean, they actually, they actually tell you that. Uh, do you have a chance to, do you have a chance to go to school? No, no, no. How old is she? Quantos años tiene? No, 15. I'm 15 years old. Uh -huh. And how, how many years has she gone to school? Quantos años de escuela tenía? Cuánto hace cuánto grado? Till 16. Till 16. And do many people have family work, or is she one of the only people working? Just me. You support. How many people do you support? Y cuánta gente está en su familia, dependiendo de su salario. Eight people. Eight people. And how do you do with that salary? Is it enough? Do they treat the workers well here? Not so well. Mm -hmm. Do they ever yell at the workers? Or? They scream, they scream. Do they ever hit anyone? Yeah. Does she think that she's going to get ahead at, at this job? I mean, will she get a better job working here? They only let one, they only allow one to work here. Uh, she wishes she could go to school? Anybody, anyway, mm -hmm. this is a private company. Yes. Without permission, how can you come in? Uh -huh. huh. Well, the door was wide open, and uh, the only door I go open your for the employees, not for you. It's very common offshore in the Maquiladoras for forced overtime. It's very common to have 12 hour shifts, to work from 7 o'clock until 7 p.m. In fact, when large orders come in for the companies, it's not uncommon to keep the workers there all night. I take a rest when I come home tired for about 20 minutes. Sometimes I work a lot and I only take 20 minutes for lunch and I have to go back to work to finish my production goal because otherwise they'll make me stay to finish it. When the rush orders come in, say an order, a big order comes in from GAP that has to be filled, they have the kids working from 7 o'clock in the morning until 5 o'clock at night. They're kicked out of the factory for two hours, they come back at 7 p.m. and they work until 3 a.m. in the morning. They're at the work 18, 19 hours to get these rush orders in. We've seen, we've stood out in front of factories, we've seen kids come out 6 o'clock in the morning after having entered the, entered the day before. We've seen children enter at 7.30 in the morning on Saturday and come out of work at 6 a.m. the next day on Sunday, a 23-hour shift. It's painful for me. As I told her, I wouldn't want her to work because she tells me that they yell at her, blame her. She goes to work and tells me that she'll be back at 7, but it's 8 or 9 when I get a little note from her telling me she's been forced to stay. I worry about her. It's dark on the road. But I calm down because I know she'll stay there until early in the morning. Sometimes it's 4.30 in the morning and I have just got up and then she comes. I tell her, child, I've been thinking about you. 
She says, Mom, don't worry. What am I going to do? I have to work. If she misses one day, they take out a lot of money. She doesn't get the whole pay. That's why she stays. You don't go to school now, do you? Do you want to go? What do you want to study? I need one more year to finish elementary school. You know, you study here for six years and then you go to high school. I think if I can study for three more years after elementary school, it will be enough. What the companies are doing, companies like The Gap, they're not letting the workers out. They're not letting the workers out to go to school at night. They're telling the workers, they're telling the, these young women, it's school or it's work. You decide. If you're going to go to school tonight, don't bother coming back tomorrow because you're fired. Octavio does not go to school. He is a factory worker. What grade have you completed? Fifth grade. What happened that you didn't go on to the sixth grade? I worked to help my mom. In the factories, don't they tell you you can go to school at night? No, because I have to leave so late. You have to stay till you finish the quota. Do you always finish? Once in a while. And if you don't finish the quota? I stay. Until when? Me? Till six, seven, or ten. From 7 in the morning until 10 at night? Yes. 